Hi guys, welcome to this quick uh, tutorial about bandwidth limitations or bandwidth limiters. Um, yeah, there's some times we have some need to limit our bandwidth at least for certain people. Maybe if you have uh, like a family and you're sharing the internet and it seems that some people are consuming too much upload, download, whatever they do. If they're gaming or just watching video, then they need a lot of download. When they're streaming, they need upload or yeah, uploading video to YouTube. It's uh, YouTube itself doesn't have a delimiter. So yeah, it's uh, sometimes, uh, I mean, it depends on the network you have. If you have like uh, Verizon or um, yeah if you have uh, Fios fiber optics then there's maybe no need because they have a lot of upload to um, the most of the problems uh, they arise when, when, when you don't have enough upload speed that's usually the case when you have ADSL with um, optical fiber you usually don't have these problems and also it's different based on the provider you have some providers have really nice modems which you which uh, share the internet access really good and some providers don't have good modems and so one user will um, yeah prevent others from accessing the internet so sometimes it's good to have some some ways to limit the internet some people like to, to do this also when they are programming to see how their programs behave when they have limited bandwidth okay so yeah here i have the speedtest.net this is the situation as i have it at the moment usually i have 10 megabit upload 100 megabit download of course some people are doing some work now i don't have the full bandwidth so you see it's yeah but it, it gets close to 100 uh, download and upload maybe also close to 10 which is the maximum so i stop this i won't don't want to bother other people so yeah now what can we do uh, to limit the bandwidth um, yeah when you go to the internet the first thing you will probably see that's the tool within the chrome uh, the browser chrome uh, which you can activate and that should be working uh, they start they implemented this with version 38 and that should be definitely working now but i had some problems and i will show you uh, how it works so by pressing f12 at the browser you can open the developer tools and here you have in the middle the network tab uh, next uh, line you see the network throttling all the possibilities you have also you see it down at the bottom you see the same you have no throttling or yeah different uh, types of throttling it's absolutely the same no matter if you do it on top or at the bottom if you don't if you don't see it at the bottom you can activate it here in the menu more tools network condition so yeah uh, but I will do it at the top so I will start with a really hard limitation like regular 2G that should be really really um, uh, low limit so let's test it again let's see how fast we are ping is still the same and as you can see it comes close to 100 megabits again i can stop it now i don't want to bother other people so let's stop this now uh yeah 
obviously didn't work i can tell you the upload also the the the, the limitation of the upload didn't work too so no problem we can test like maybe even gprs which is lower so we can test it again Take some time, ping is the same, and download, yeah, it goes up and up and up, so no need to do more testing, I stop this also. Yeah, that's obviously not working, and yeah, I what I have to tell you, what is definitely not working when you do these settings here, uh, and you go to another tab within your Chrome browser, maybe you have 20 tabs open and you do the settings here and you go to another tab like uh, or, or on, a, on another tab you have, have the YouTube upload that doesn't work. If you want to change any setting that uh, as far as I know it works only within the tab. So if you go to, if you want to limit the uh, bandwidth or do something with the YouTube uh, so you have to go to the tab where you have the YouTube and then you can go, uh, press F12 and have a uh, change some settings here but it doesn't anyway it doesn't work anyway as you can see the only thing which is really working I can tell you this is the offline you can see here there's an offline button and now uh, when I reload the tab it says there's no internet connection so when I disable the offline and reload again it should actually bring up why it doesn't do that yeah it takes some time okay yeah seems really to work but only this uh, offline button uh, but not these presets and also even not custom I've tried to make a custom setting but this didn't work as well so I have been googling for a while some people say yeah it's only working for mobile devices or I don't know uh, I mean uh, it seems to be really not, uh, not, not, not really reliable so for me uh, we, uh, we can really forget this except the offline thing and the offline this is something yet yeah, you you don't need that I mean you can put your offline by disabling Wi-Fi or pulling the um, the, the internet um, cable so yeah what can you do what other options do you have most of the there are a lot of programs around in the internet which can limit the bandwidth and uh, but they are um, yeah i have seen some some testings and they re work really good but they all cost money that's a little bit the problem uh, the cheaper thing i have seen is about 20 dollars if you just need it for one or two times or if you need it at different computers so it can be actually too much money for your needs so what options do you really have i have found out there is one program uh, that's called the fiddler uh, that's actually for free i think at least as long as you are using it as a private person so you can go to teleric.com download fiddler and download here the program you uh, are just being asked how you want to plan that for uh, some testing debugging whatever so you tell them how you will use that and you have to specify your email without specifying that it will uh, tell you email is required so yeah, no 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 problem i think or or just provide them with an, a fake email so yeah and of course you have to accept the uh, agreement uh, license agreement and then you down, download and install it and then 
um, yeah you will have this program I mean uh, that's the look uh, yeah it looks like this uh, maybe I should make it a little bit smaller so you can see everything from the button uh, from the top so yeah uh, align in with this window so you can see everything it looks like this uh, yeah progress telerik fiddler web debugger so that's the thing which you see when you start it up so yeah it seems a little bit uh, difficult and it's a huge tool i mean you don't need all the features and whatever it provides and also i have no idea what what it's showing it just shows the i mean it shows the um connections uh, but uh, so many things about this which i have no idea about but uh, it's not so complicated what you actually need is you have to go to the rules tab and then to the you go to the customized rules and then uh, it will open an editor you um, then push uh, control F and look for um, how was it? Can't remember. I'm sorry. Was <laughs> um, it some kind of bandwidth? Yes. Okay. Here we are. Yeah, it's the simulate modem part of this uh, sample code. So. This is the code, how it uh, comes. So I have um, deleted that. I've modified a little bit, but I can put it back how it looked. So obviously, yeah, this is the thing which you, which I can delete. So yeah, this is how it looks the simulate modem part you have just uh, like uh, yeah commentary here with um, 300 milliseconds delay for one kilobyte uploaded so this is the the upload limitation is at the request trickle delay and the download uh, delays at the response trickle delay so what I did and now I can't remember what I had some values yeah my values were 10 so you have to a little bit test you can google this uh, as well at the internet how much delay will be about how much bandwidth so what uh, worked more or less at for the beginning it's uh, 10 uh, milli 10 milliseconds delay for each kilobyte of data of course you have to save it now you can do it at the menu or just press ctrl s and now maybe you heard that jingle it obviously saved it so i can close the editor now and what's important as well now i have to activate this and i can do this by clicking to rules uh, performance and simulate modem speeds that's a switch inside the code i mean you can put you can turn on this switch like always so you don't have to activate rules performance simulate you can go to um, you can go to customize rules and you see there's a switch um, yeah here you see uh, here's the the, the uh, variable it's initialized with false you can initialize it with true 
and then it's always true so you would not have to turn it on every time as far as I have seen so now it's turned on and we can go back to our browser and do the testing and hopefully we will see some change in the testing so we have to wait till it connects there's still some German settings but I hope you can see I mean you, you will see it anyway so now you can definitely see a change not a thing what you have seen in Google Chrome with the developer tools now it's limited to about three megabits per second the download and upload should be about the same because we have chosen the same amount of milliseconds delay per kilobyte so obviously it really works that's the only thing I can promise that's really the only thing I did I downloaded this fiddler tool just click on fast setup no uh, I mean just uh, I took the defaults I didn't change anything started the tool and then went to rules and customize rules I did these uh, small changes went to performance activated simulate modem speed and that's it and I'm not 100% sure but I think when you close this thing then it will uh, deactivate the whole thing so maybe that's one thing we can test anyway so we can turn on the simulate yes simulate modem speeds um, yes and now we close the fiddler okay and let's see if this limitation is still there I think it shouldn't be there because the program is not active anymore but you never know I'm not a Windows programmer and I have no idea how these things work but yeah so my intuition was not bad so obviously it's back to normal so you can Make your settings in the fiddler whatever you want to have like uh, some uh, small limitations and or every time you want to activate you just open the fiddler uh, yeah that's maybe one thing you have to then just to assure that the uh, yeah the bit the I mean the switch is turned on I can't guarantee maybe when you turn when you start the program it's not turned off but that's a small thing I mean this is nothing uh, you have to really worry about I think um, yeah so yeah that's the good thing for now you have really a free tool now that is really working and it's not only working with the browser it's working then for everything which you use with your computer so that's the good thing with the Google Chrome developer tools it would if it would work it would work only with Google Chrome anyway and not with other programs like gaming or with other upload tools if you have dedicated upload tools for Google or for other video platforms or so so you need anyway something else so the fiddler tool does it definitely that's the good thing so yeah I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that um, if you like it then give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and See you next time.